fate. You think that I, Julian Crane, have descended to entertaining the masses by engaging in professional wrestling? With Big Dog, no less, who may or may not be loosely related to the fair sex. Julian should be proud to be part of such an exciting sport. Well, of course, you think it's exciting because you're not the one who's about to be killed. Tonight's card features a title bout between world champion Big Dog and a mysterious challenger, The Mask, C-E-O! That's Julian. The Masked C-E-O. Is that the best name you could come up with? Tell Julian the truth. The Masked Lethal was the racer. All right. Just cut the wise cracks. I'm about to put my life on the line for 200 million dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, the robber baron of the new millennium, the boss employs love to hate, the mask, C-E-O! shooting Julian, so she confessed to the murder to save Ethan, and now she's going to die by lethal injection. <sighs> All's well that ends well. <laughs> oh, charwoman, get us some champagne. And be quick about it. You sickos are celebrating the fact that Mrs. Crane is going to be executed? Indeed, we are. You backed the wrong Mrs. Crane. Teresa will never set foot in this house again. Yes, as we speak, the little taco queen is walking the green mile to extinction. Teresa's going to die, and there's nothing anyone can do to save her. Mmm, fresh meat. Damn, cute little thing, too, isn't she? Mm, mm, well, 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 looky here. Open cell number four. Look at what the cat dragged in. <laughs> hey, neighbor. How you doing? Lock cell four. I'm Bertha. When's your due date? I already had my baby. Son. You had a kid? Yeah. I think his name is Ethan Martin Crane. Well, they'll be calling him orphan soon enough. Excuse me? When I said due date, I meant when are you due to be executed? 
No, I, I, I won't be. Oh, oh yeah, right. None of us here on death row ever gets executed. <laughs> Any luck? Not yet. I'm not giving up. There has to be some legal precedent to have Teresa's sentence overturned. I just have to find it. I'm so glad you and TC got out on bail, Hank. Yeah. Well, Sam and I owe you a beer for helping us escape from those prison guards, man. Anytime. Come on. Hey, uh, I found these pictures in our garage. I thought maybe Mama could put a couple up in her room at the B&B, make it a little more homey. It's a good idea. Hmm. Sam and Grace are setting up a crib for the baby right now. <laughs> hey, little man. I'm your Uncle Miguel. Your mom's my sister. You're sitting on death row waiting to die. Luis. Listen, if there is anything I can do to help you get through this, let me know, okay? I... I'm just glad you're here. Now, after everything that's happened, I don't know if I can make it through this without you, Beth. You'll never be without me, Louise. Never. There's nothing I can do. Teresa's going to die. Hey, Ethan. I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for Teresa. I wish things could have worked out differently for you guys. Yeah, I just wish I could find a legal president to get Teresa's conviction overturned. So far, I've come up empty-handed. There's nothing that you can do to keep Teresa from being executed? Wait a minute, that's it. What is... No, I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. You just made me realize how I can help Teresa. I did? Yeah, I, I've been focused on trying to get her conviction overturned when I should be trying to stop the execution. So once I do that, then I can work on getting her sentence reduced or, or appeal the conviction altogether. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, and I still think the Cranes, Alistair in particular, will go to bat for Teresa. But we can't take any chances. Well, what's your idea? How can you save my Teresa? I'll talk to the governor. I mean, he can grant Teresa a clemency or, or give her a reprieve. But why, why would he do that? The governor used to work for my grandfather when he was governor. Well, see, all I have to do is convince him to give Teresa a stay of execution. Well, if anyone can convince the governor to stop Teresa's execution, it's Ethan. I pray you're right, Neil. We all do. Hey, we're picking you. We're praying for your mother. We're praying for that is very hard. I told you, I'm Teresa Crane. Mrs. Julian Crane. And the Cranes will never allow one of their own to be executed. My in-laws will take care of me. The Cranes already have. That's why you're here on death row. No, you watch. I won't be here long. Well, you got that right. You're a dead girl walking. And soon you'll be walking right into the death chamber. Then it'll be lights out for Mrs. Julian Crane. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, becoming Mrs. Crane, was the best thing to happen to this house. She treated this staff with respect, not like fetching dogs. Oh, speaking of fetching, where's our champagne? Yes, we'd like it now. Oh, and in the future, if you would keep your emotional outbursts to yourself, that is, if you want to keep this job. Be nice to the staff, treat them with respect. What kind of new age nonsense is that? <laughs> Never mind. We have to find out if a date has been set for Teresa's execution. Well, I'll turn on the TV, see if there's been an announcement. Ah, come on! This is a cheesy wrestling show. 
Oh, wrestling. Oh, my, I love wrestling. Give it up for the stallion. Oh, don't tell me. You like wrestling? What for? The fashion tips? No. For the sweaty, chiseled men in spandex. My favorite one's the stallion. Oh, and for your information, he's not called the stallion because of his, uh, muscles. and Big Dog. We're going to take this man down. Ah. Ooh, I wouldn't give for him to slap a saddle under yeah. me. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I thought at least the local stations would be reporting on Teresa's impending execution live from prison. You don't think something's gone wrong, do you? <sighs> oh, Mr. Stallion, I bet you'd like little Becky to pull on her tail, wouldn't you? <laughs> Rebecca! What? Stay with me here, please. Teresa's execution, you don't think that, that Ethan managed to pull some last-minute legal maneuver, do you? <laughs> Teresa's conviction is solid. Look, I mean, the only way that Teresa wouldn't be executed would be if Julian were alive. And that's not going to happen. But no one could survive being shot, boiled, and shredded in a tuna vat. No, Julian is dead. Just like the stallion's opponent here. <laughs> <laughs> Opponent. I don't think we need two other dolls badly enough for me to be mauled by the maniac. <laughs> All Julian has to do is fight Big Dog for 15 minutes to win the money. Two hundred dollars will begin to pay for my hospital bills. There's the referee. It's too late to back out now. Maybe you should have let her eat the rest of that chair before the bout. Oh, no. She was saving plenty of room for you. Well, parts of you, anyway. I want a clean fight. Well, that's the Ivy League way. I mean a big dog, no illegal moves. Management's getting complaints from morticians. They can't make the bodies presentable for viewing after you get through with them. <laughs> if you try your death rip on the match CEO, I'll stop the match and declare him the winner. Oh, I Another referee is down for the count. And Big Dog is moving in for the kill. Forget CEO. You're about to be D-O-A. Call soon. With good news from the governor. Luis, come on. You have to be patient. He just left. You're right. I'm just anxious. Hey, why don't we look at the pictures Miguel found? Maybe it'll help you relax. Yeah. You know, I still blame myself for this whole predicament that Teresa's in. What? Well, you're wrong to think that way. You gave Teresa everything she ever needed. Love, guidance, a roof over her head. You were both a brother 
and a father to her. Well, whatever I did, I, I should have done something else or she wouldn't be in such dire straits right now. <laughs> you ladies can laugh all you want, but I'm gonna have last laugh because I'm not gonna be sent to the death chamber. No, I'm gonna live a long and happy life with my baby and the man that I love. He looks just like his mother. One day we'll be a family. Me, my baby, Ethan. I demand to see the governor, all right? This is a matter of life and death. So are you sad because Teresa's going to die or because you're about to lose your free dental and 401k plan when she does? <sighs> that is so cold. Just like our champagne. You can go now. Rebecca, please, stop acting like a mare in heat and stay focused. You know, that little claim jumper hasn't been put out of our misery yet. But she will be. You know, I wonder what I have to do to get into the stallion's corral. <laughs> Damn it, Rebecca. Stop assuming that Teresa is done for. How many times have we seen her down for the count only to have her wriggle away at the last minute? Ivy... It's not going to happen this time, as I have told you before. The only way that Teresa is not going to be executed would be if Julian were to come back to life, and that only happens on TV. You know, you got to hand it to Big Dog. I mean, she is good. Look at her. Yeah, you get him, Big Dog. Get him. familiar about Big Dog's opponent. You know, those sweet skinny arms. That little jelly belly. What does he remind me of? What are you talking about? No, 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 no. There's something familiar about the wrestler's opponent. You're right, there is. <laughs> <laughs> Challenger. Well, that's for sure. Even with the mask on, you can see fear in his eyes. No, no it couldn't be. Could it? Julian! Anything I can do to help? Helping Sam and Louise get to Eve in time to save Teresa and her baby was more than enough. Mama's right. You know, just having you here and knowing that you're behind us, it's great. Hey, your family has a lot of friends in harmony besides me. Oh. Come here, come here. Come here, little guy. All our friends have been so nice. They're all offering to do anything or give us anything they can. But there is one thing our friends can't give us, and I would give anything in the world to have it. And that's to have my daughter home, safe and sound, where she belongs. Not facing certain death for a, a crime I know she didn't commit. Okay, baby. It's okay. I don't know when or how, but somewhere along the way, I failed Teresa. Teresa, you've got to stop blaming yourself. That's true. Somehow, I should have done things differently. Our whole family together. Right. That's what Teresa needed to see. I don't understand. 
When Papa disappeared and Antonio left, I changed my whole life to take care of my family. You and I didn't get married because of a choice that I made. It was a mistake. Mistake. Me doing so much for Teresa, protecting her the way I did, it was actually bad for her. I should have let her see life for the way it is. Let her take the good with the bad. We should have got married. We should have had kids the way we planned. See, maybe if Teresa would have seen us happy and in love and raising a family, maybe she wouldn't have got so caught up in this crazy fantasy of hers. She wouldn't have been so focused on, on being a crane and living in the lap of luxury with Ethan. No, you don't know that. Well, I do know one thing. I made a horrible mistake in denying myself a life with you. Raising a family. We could have had everything. We could have had it all. Please. It's not too late. You're right. You're right. It's not too late. Uh, it's time we started talking about our future. Talking about what we should have done before. What are you saying? I'm saying it's time for us to take our commitment all the way. You won't live to see your kid's first birthday, honey. As for this Ethan fella, I bet he's already got himself a fresh squeeze. No. Ethan loves me. He will save me, I know it. Hey, you just can't barge in here. Teresa! Ethan! Teresa, where are you? I'm down here! Stop, I can stop. Stop. I've got a pardon from the governor. What? Release this woman immediately. No way. Do as he says. Mrs. Crane has been pardoned. She's free to go. Well, I'll be damned. Open cell number four. <laughs> oh, my God. I knew you'd save me. I knew it. Looks like Big Dog is moving in for the kill. Right you are, Thor. Let's hope that Kate Coward is an organ donor, so his death won't be in vain. Performing that miracle? Hit her with something! Oh, I have to lose this in my life. Come on. <laughs> Mother of Pearl! The mud is immune to pain! I hid her! Do you have any other bright ideas? I couldn't let you die. I love you too much to ever lose you. Wait, what? I have a surprise for you. Gordon? wrong about you, gal. You got your kid, your man, and your life back. I told you I would live happily ever after. <laughs> Come on, Teresa, let's start our life together. You, me, and the baby. We'll never be apart. you're calling out in your sleep. Ethan. Oh, Ethan. Yeah, you keep calling him, hon. 
I'm sure Ethan will be here any minute to save your neck. <laughs> Ethan will save me. I know he will. I demand to see the governor. I'm sorry, Mr. Crane. I mean, Mr. Winthrop. But the governor is working late on the budget. I'll be happy to make an appointment well, I don't for think next you're week. listening to me, all right? This is a matter of life and death. I demand to see the governor. Well, you can't. Watch me. Hey, you. Wait a second. Let go. Look, I have to see him. This is a matter of life and death. You're not going anywhere, pal. Damn it, let me in to see the governor. What's going on out there? Not to worry, sir. Everything's under control. Let go of me. Damn these budget cuts in an election year, no less. Evening, Governor. Go away, I'm busy. Is that any way to speak to the man who bought you this high office? Mr. Crane, I, I'm sorry I didn't realize it was you. Please have a seat. If you insist. What can I do for you, sir? You can make sure Teresa Crane is sent to the death chamber. Tomorrow. I made a mistake in not marrying you when we were younger. And we could have had a wonderful life together. We did, Luis. We still do. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. It's just that your mom was talking in the kitchen, Luis. I still have more to say, you know. So do I. So, we'll pick up where we left off. Okay. Soon? Okay. <laughs> was that what I thought it was? Could be. Oh, I hope so. You guys always made a good couple. You still do. Um, will you excuse me? I've got to go call my mom. Yeah. <laughs> Where's that picture of Luis and Sheridan? I could have sworn I just saw it in here. Luis is mine now, Sheridan. All no, 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 it couldn't be. It, Julian can't be alive. No, no, it can't be him. You know, it, it's got to be a double. You know, they say everybody has a twin. Let me ask. Oh, oh, have mercy, I beseech you. Oh, oh, oh. Is Julian all right? Not even a mask can hide what a sniveling coward he is. Who's that strange little man with him, though? The one that seems to be his manager? It, it looks like Tabitha Lennox's little nephew, Timmy, but... No. What would a sweet little boy like that be doing with a caped coward like Julian? You know, you think you're a widow, and then this. I, 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 it's beyond belief. Confident man from Julian. He, he can't even die and stay dead. With big dog on his tail, that may change soon. <laughs> Sorry, Rebecca, but I think your brilliant plan is about to go up in smoke. Why? Hello? As soon as everyone learns, particularly the court, that Julian is alive, Teresa will be out of prison and back in this house, and we will be out on the street, and I don't mean Park Avenue. Well, at least you've got transportation. You're gonna have to walk. Thanks to Julian. Oh, the Lazarus of Harmony. We could lose everything. Everything! Listen, I am Ethan Winthrop, all right? I'm the grandson of the former governor. I demand to see the governor now. We don't care who you are. Nobody sees the governor without an appointment. Please escort Mr. Winthrop from the mansion immediately. No, listen, you don't understand. He's the only one who could save Teresa. You want Teresa Crane to be sent to the death chamber tomorrow? Yes. Preferably late morning. I'll be through eating breakfast by then. But, Mr. Crane, tomorrow is so soon. There are so many documents that need to be drawn up. I'd need an order of execution to sign. I just happen to have one right here. 
But yours will be in a sling if you don't sign this now. Yes, Mr. Crane. Whatever you want. Excellent. Come tomorrow, Teresa Crane will be sent to the death chamber for killing my son. There's not a bloody thing anyone can do to stop it. Look, Thor, Big Dog has the mass CEO in her killer, Thymaster Death Grip. Does she ever? Is there a mortician in the house for the love of God? Yeah. <laughs> Help me! Julian's doing fine. To keep from getting sick a while longer, and Julian and Jimmy will be two hours old richer. I'm numb from the neck down, you twit. Call down villains before I need a hurt. <laughs> Don't do it, Big Dog. You'll be disqualified if you do. Looks like that's all she wrote for the mass CEO. You gotta be kidding me. Big Dog's about to execute her high-wire death spin move on this chump of a challenger for a title. Big Dog, Big Dog. Oh, if Julian's alive, then Teresa will be out of prison and we're out of luck. Damn it, Rebecca, what are we going to do? I, I, I just don't panic. Don't panic. Don't, don't panic. Julian is alive. Teresa is going to be staying alive and, and come keeping the title of Mrs. Crane. And, and you're telling me not to panic. What do you want me to do? Sing? Well, for starters, you can keep your mouth shut. <gasps> don't talk to me like that. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. It's just that nobody has to know that Julian's alive. Ever. Get a clue, Rebecca. He's on TV. Yeah. Wrestling in a costume with a mask. Nobody but you and I is going to realize that this sideshow act being spun around like a top is actually the undead heir to one of the world's greatest fortunes. Oh. Well, put it that way. Right. No one has to know that Julian's alive unless we tell him. And obviously, he, he doesn't want anybody to know he's alive. Well, Julian's probably afraid that if the, if the killer knew that he was alive, that they'd try to kill him again. In fact, I bet that he is waiting until after Teresa is executed to reveal himself. And Teresa's going to be executed soon. So, if no one knows that Julian's alive until after she's dead, we win. Julian just now? No. No, no, I, I didn't either. Well, how could we? Julian is dead. And soon, Teresa will be too. Maybe Ethan's plan will work and the governor will grant Teresa a stay of execution. Or maybe Alistair will step in and save her. Okay. After all, she is one of them now. I think Luis is clinging to false hope. If Alistair was going to save Teresa, why wouldn't he have done it before now? I want to be executed. You'll see. Yeah, right. They just put you here on death row so you can have some quiet time. So you can reflect on what a bad girl you've been. <laughs> Look, I know it sounds crazy, but everything will work out just fine. Ethan will find a way to save me. <laughs> you don't understand. An innocent woman is going to die. You're the one who doesn't understand. You're out of here. <laughs> Governor! What? Alistair! Well, thank God you're here. You... Look, Teresa's going to be executed. You... you have to do something. That's why I came to see the governor. I'm here to personally ensure that all the power and influence of the Crane Empire is brought to bear regarding Teresa's death sentence. <laughs> <laughs> 